Now look, I'm not a bad kid. You can ask most of my teachers and most of them would back me up. However, of course, with me being a very loud and outgoing kid, I kinda stick out like a sore thumb, and I kinda sometimes become a target. Thus, I will get into some trouble every now and then. At the start of every year, I come into my new classes with my outgoing and loud personality, and my teachers are usually like, this kid's gonna be a handful, which is right, but hear me out. Am I loud? Yes. Can I help it? No. I was gifted with a naturally loud voice, which can sometimes paint me as a distraction and disturbance to a classroom. For example, when the teacher leaves the room for a bit and the whole class starts talking, I'm the kid that they yell at when they come back and are like, Harrison, I heard you all the way in the kindergarten hall on the other side of the school. But, but everyone was talking to. But I heard you. You need to work on your indoor voice, mister. However, I can't just blame my voice on every single time I've gotten in trouble. Sometimes it's not my voice's fault. Sometimes it's not even my fault. So when it was getting close to fall freshman year, I was getting my fall sniffles. I needed to use the tissues a lot. So one week in English class, I had gotten up to use the tissues and thrown them away a couple times. And the last time I did, I was on the way to throw away my tissue when my teacher said, hey, uh, mm. Can you maybe not walk around my entire classroom and interrupt me just to throw away a tissue? I kind of stared back at her, not really knowing what to say. I finally said, um, yes ma'am. The next day I brought my own tissue box in my backpack. Every time I needed to use them, I would use them and put them next to my book bag where no one else could see. After class, I would take the tissue and throw it away on my way out the class. Simple plan, right? One day she was walking by, saw that I had a tissue on the ground and said, um, would it kill you to get up and bring this to the garbage? But, but you said- So basically, she told me not to get up and throw away my tissues, and then told me to throw away my tissues, so... You know, I was just a little confused. Also, for some reason, in sixth grade, I must have been really crazy. Most of my teachers just didn't really seem to like me either, which is understandable. I was pretty dumb, and most of the time, I was just asking to be put into bad situations. One time, my social studies teacher came in and said, Good news, everyone. Everyone in this class made an A on the test last week. Yay! Yay! Well, except one person. They got a C. <laughs> was it me? Ah. Uh... One of the things that fueled my stupidity in sixth grade was our classroom iPads. I absolutely loved them. I would film funny videos on them and just have a blast with them. One time at the end of the day, I was fooling around with the camera when the teacher started to talk. I forgot to stop the video, so it just kept rolling as I paid attention to her. When she was done talking, I stopped recording but forgot to delete it. There was nothing bad on the video though, so I should be fine. <sighs> the next day, my class was lined up in the hallway after lunch. Out of nowhere, the principal appeared. Of course, everyone immediately stiffened up and acted cool. Now, I loved my principal at this school. Me and him were buddies because me and him both loved weather. He would sometimes call me out of class just to talk about the weather. He was awesome. He looked at our line, saw me, and called me out of line. He told me to come with him to his office. Everyone was like, <clears throat> But I was like, calm down, guys. I'm fine. I'm not in trouble. So we walked to his office, and the entire time, I'm just like, <laughs> we sit down, he looks at me, and he says, You're in trouble, son. Wh what? Can you explain this? He turns around the iPad, and it's the video of me, just listening to the teacher. Oh, um, well, yesterday I was just fooling around with the camera and forgot to turn it off. Well, this was extremely disrespectful. We've called your parents. They're not happy. What? The entire rest of the day, I was so confused. What in the world, man? What in the world did I do? I got home that night and my parents were steamed. I had to calm them down and assure them that I literally did nothing in the video. Eventually, they believed me and everything was fine. For months after that, it was really tense between me and that teacher. In fact, the tension went to the last day of school. Field day. I was told to bring a football for the class, so I did. And when I wasn't looking, someone took that ball from me. In a matter of seconds, we were all tossing around the ball when someone tipped it off their hands and it hit her desk. We spilt her coffee all over the floor. Oh no. Holy mackerel. Clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. Harrison. Um, what did you do? I'm sorry. 
I'm so sorry. So yeah, I've been in some tough situations for being an idiot. Nowadays, I'm smart and don't make stupid decisions, so there's that. Again, I'm not a bad kid, and after this video, I don't want you to think that. Like every human, I make mistakes every now and then, and that's okay. Nowadays, the teachers at my school know I'm just an outgoing, relatively happy kid, so they cut me some slack. Of course, I'll be rowdy every once in a while, but not in a bad way. My teachers know I mean well, and one teacher in particular always just says, <sighs> to the moon, Harrison, to the moon. Hello everybody, it is 4am. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, that was a that was a fun one to make, even though it was uh, kind of stressful to make it sometimes, you know, kind of stressful. Uh, please, please uh, subscribe and like and share the video and do all that stuff, follow the, the, the links below to all my social medias and stuff like that, and you know, all that fun stuff. I'm making uh, two big things coming up, uh, one in 2021 and one in, um, one after I hit 100k, so, um, you better, you better hit the subscribe button. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you, uh, did all that, yeah, uh, good night, I mean, bye.